Are you trying to figure out like what even is image alt text? Why is it important and how to create a good one? If that's what you're thinking, then you have made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about image alt text. I'm going to walk you through like, what the heck even is it? Why is it important? And walk through some examples to show you like, what is a good image alt text so that you can hopefully start implementing this stuff on your own website. So let's kick it into the screen share. All right. So I always like to share my screen when I'm kind of explaining stuff like this, because I feel like the visuals just make it easier to understand. So let's start with the basics. What is image alt text? Image alt text basically was initially created for screen readers to be able to explain what the image is of if a visually impaired person is using a screen reader to browse the web. Okay, so image alt text should naturally explain what's in the image so that the visually impaired person can understand the context of the page, can understand the image. So this is like website accessibility stuff. So that's first and foremost. And then the next reason for image alt text is that the Google bots, when they're, scro when they're scrolling, when they're crawling your page and they see an image, they can't, well, at this moment in time right now, they say that the robots can't really see an image. So they also take Take a look at the image alt text to better understand the image. The image alt text in this instance is really good at giving those robots when they're scanning your page, it's good at giving the robots like context clues about A, what this image is about, but also context clues about like what is this entire page about. So that's why they say that infusing like your target keyword if you can into your image alt text or at the very least filling in the image alt text boxes like on your website, on your blog, on your product pages, all of that stuff is really, really helpful for SEO because it gives more context clues to the search engine bot so that it can put you in the index or like Google's big filing cabinet accordingly. Okay. So that's one of the main reasons, like that's what image alt text is and why it's important. The other thing that I wanted to mention here is that when you fill out an image alt text, Google also has an image database. So it has like the web database and like an image database. So when you fill out the image alt text, Google will put that image or likely put that image, there's no guarantees, into the image database on Google searches. So this is like really, really important for a lot of websites, but especially for e-commerce. So I just want to show you something really quick. So if we go to Google and we're just searching for something that will probably bring up like e-commerce results essentially. So I have fall wreaths for front door. We can go ahead and scroll like on page one. Notice these are images. So the reason why these images are being pulled into Google search results is that because for this keyword, Google thinks and knows that people are searching visually for a solution to this problem. And like in this instance, it's finding a fall wreath for a front door. So that's why it pulls in images from its image database and shows it on the page one search results. So these images, I bet, and I'm not going to go ahead and do this because it would take a little bit, but I bet if we went in and looked at the image alt text for all of these images, it would have the target keyword for this specific keyword or something related. And so Google understands what this image is of, and then it knows that this image could be a really good solution to the problem. So if you're an e-commerce shop, I like to say that like image alt text is even more so important for you because this is just another way to get your products, to get your product pages showing up in organic search results. So now that we kind of understand like what image alt text is for SEO and like why it's important, let's talk about 
about some examples. So it's important when you're thinking of crafting your image alt text to be as honest as possible, because remember, the number one reason for image alt text to begin with is for the visually impaired and for accessibility on the internet. Okay, so we're not trying to manipulate SEO rankings, or we're not trying to like spam or like stuff your keyword into your image alt text. Okay. So if your image alt text is like has commas in it, you're probably doing it wrong. And so the example that I like to give is like, okay, this is an image on my homepage here. If I had the image alt text as Mariah Magazine, comma, SEO strategist in Buffalo, comma, Mariah Magazine, SEO strategist, comma, SEO strategist for entrepreneurs, comma, like, that is keyword stuffing in an image alt text example. That's not helpful. Also for accessibility, what are you even saying? Okay, so that's not what we want to do for image alt text. Instead, we want to very honestly explain what this image is of and if we can naturally get our target keyword for whatever page this image is on, then that's best practice. But we don't have to get our target keyword into every image on a certain page because that might not make sense depending what the image is of. So an example for this image, so the target keyword, let's just say that it's SEO strategist. Okay, so a like clear and natural image alt text example for this specific image could be Mariah Magazine SEO strategist sitting on bed with laptop and books. That's extremely honest about like what is happening in this image, but I also naturally infused my target keyword of SEO strategist into this image alt text. So there is a way to kind of have both. We just have to do it with a little bit of intention. And then to give another example, let's say this image right here, like the target keyword for this specific page of my website, this is my DIY SEO course sales page. And so I think the target keyword for this page is DIY SEO course. And so for the image alt text for this image right here, which this image is of like the mobile version of inside of my DIY SEO course, so that's exactly what my image alt text is going to be. Mobile version of DIY SEO course by Mariah Magazine. So I naturally got that target keyword within the image without forcing it and without adding commas and like being stuffy about it. But like this image, for example, I probably wouldn't be able to get the target keyword into this image alt text, but that's fine because I will have the target keyword in this image alt text on the page. So like I said, you don't have to make sure that your target keyword is in every single image alt text. Like the image alt text for this one might be like SEO strategist or SEO consultant Mariah Magazine sitting on chair holding laptop. We want to choose clear over like trying to overly stuff our target keyword in there. And then I know I'm gonna get this question, okay, but what about the image title? Can the image title and the image alt text be the same thing? Listen, for best practices, I will say that your image title should not be the same exact thing as your image alt text because they're different. The title is just like the title of the image and then the alt text is explaining what is inside of the image. So here's the example I'll give here. So if we're just, if we have a photo of a chicken dinner, that is what this is. So the image title could be air fryer roast chicken dinner. Okay, that's literally what this image is. But the image alt text might be air fryer roast chicken dinner with potatoes, carrots, and asparagus. Because that is a very clear example of like what this image is of. So hopefully, Hopefully those examples kind of help you understand like what the image alt text is used for and then the difference between like the image title and the image alt text. So just another example, like the image title for this one might be like Mariah Magazine headshot for homepage. Do you know what I mean? So it's like the image title, it's just different than the image alt text. Now I will say I have seen people use both in order to save time. And I'm not saying that that's the worst thing possible. I'm just saying that the image title and the alt text serve different purposes. And now lastly, I'm just gonna walk through how to add an image alt text. At least I'm gonna show you in terms of like this website and two other websites using WordPress and Squarespace. If your website is not on those website platforms, you should be able to go to Google and literally type in like Shopify, how to add image alt text, or Wix, how to add image alt text. And even with WordPress, depending 
on like the type of website builder that you're using in order to create your website, the process still might be a little different. But essentially what we're going to do is come over here to edit page and then I'm going to scroll down to the image here. I'm going to click on it and then because of the website like template that I'm using, my editor might look different than yours just like I said, but I'm going to click this cute little pencil thing here and then it will take you to like the WordPress gallery where like all of your uploads and images are and whatever. And so basically over here on the right hand side on WordPress is usually where you're able to add your alt text and then add your title. And then if your website is using another popular website theme like Divi, here's an example here. So this is using the visual builder with Divi. You can go ahead and click or like hover over the image, click on the gear icon. And this threw me for a loop for a hot second. So like you would think that it would be right here. It's not right here. I don't think. Yeah, it's not right there, but the image alt text, if you come over to advanced and then attributes, that's where the image alt text and the image title text is if you're using Divi. So I did want to show that example because I had to do a Google search. I couldn't figure it out. So I just wanted to walk you through that one. And then an example on Squarespace here. So this is my podcast and basically it's hosted on Squarespace. So we're just going to go ahead and edit it. We're going to select an image. And then usually you can click the pencil icon and then scroll down and you should be able to add your image alt text. And then this would be the image file name that you can go ahead and customize and explain and strategize and all of that stuff. So one last caveat here is that the like me showing you how to add your image alt text, if you're watching this video later and these platforms have gotten an update, things might look a little funky. Things might look a little different. Also with Squarespace, I know like depending on which block you're using, the image alt text might be in a different spot. So if you're getting frustrated, go to Google and type in like how to update my image alt text for whatever platform that should show the updated version. If by the time that you're watching this, this doesn't really match what you're seeing. But overall, that's the spiel. That's the tea about image alt text. I hope that that was helpful. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful for you and therefore pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you have any questions about image alt text for SEO or any questions about anything else that's related to it or any suggestions suggestions for new videos on the channel, then definitely leave me a comment below this video. I use your comments and your feedback and your suggestions in order to inspire new videos for the channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.